Hi. Now here we have an example of how we find stationary points on parametric curves. So we've got to find the stationary point on the curve x equals t to the power of 4 minus 4t squared plus 4 and y equals t squared minus 6t. So how do we do questions like this? Well first of all we've got to find the gradient at any point on it. Find dy by dx and make that gradient dy dx equal to zero. So let's start then by finding dy by dx and to do that remember we need to first of all find dx by dt and also dy by dt and then use the chain rule. So for dx by dt we're going to differentiate this the first term becomes 4t cubed and then we have differential of minus 4t squared is minus 8t and then differential of 4 well that's just simply 0. When it comes to differentiating y with respect to t we have dy by dt equals 2t minus 6. So in order to find dy by dx remember dy by dx we use the chain rule dy by dt times dt by dx or you can use the other version just as equivalent to this dy by dt divided by dx by dt. I'm going to use this for this example so we have dy by dt the 2t minus 6 divided by dx by dt 4t cubed then minus the 8t and in this example I can see that I can divide top and bottom by 2 and that will leave me with t minus 3 all over 2t cubed minus 4t. Now when it comes to stationary points we know that dy by dx should equal 0. So we we'll just write that in at stationary points dy by dx must equal 0. And when you've got a fraction that must equal 0 the numerator will have to be 0. So therefore we see that t minus 3 must equal 0. And if t minus 3 equals 0 that leads to t equaling 3 if we add 3 to both sides. Now that we know that t equals 3 we can find out the corresponding x and y coordinates of our stationary point. So when t equals 3 what does x equal? Well if we substitute 3 into here 3 to the power of 4 minus 4 times 3 squared plus 4 comes to 49. And when we work out what y is 3 squared minus 6 times 3 we end up with minus 9. So we've got a stationary point then at 49 minus 9. Essentially we've answered the question it just said find the stationary point but it'd be quite good just to extend this uh, question to determining the nature of what it is whether it's a maximum or a minimum. Okay well I've just written in that stationary point then at 49 minus 9 and to determine that nature what we can do is a gradient method. We could draw up a table say and we've got our t values and we're looking at what the gradient is for various values of t. Now we know that when t is 3 dy dx is 0. We've got a stationary point there. So we take a value of t to the left and to the right of the 3. So let's say we take 2 and 4. So when you've got 2 and you substitute 2 into dy dx into this equation here you'll find that you get minus 2 over 24. Minus 2 over 24. And when you substitute 4 into here you'll find you get 2 over 
252. So we're going basically from a negative gradient to zero to positive gradient. So that means that as far as the slope goes, the slope of the tangent, what we've got is that we're going negative, zero, it's horizontal, and then positive, it goes up. So we've got a minimum, a local minimum. So if ever asked to find the state type of stationary point that we've got, well, we should be able to do that by looking at the gradient. So we have a minimum then at the point 49 minus 9. OK, well, it's a short example. And I hope that's given you some idea of how we go about finding stationary points then to parametric curves.